Okay, so in this setup here, we're told that the um, when this gets released, particle B will fall this way, and you move that acceleration of 0.4 g, and of course then A will rise with the same acceleration, okay, because the string is, um, t is inextensible, right? So it's the same tension and smooth poly, same, acceler same acceleration throughout, right? So if, if B is moving with acceleration 0.4 g, is pulling A and will go at the same acceleration of 0.4 g, all right? But it is gonna be going this way, okay? So this is obviously the heavier weight, all right? And we're asked to work out what that weight is. So if we use um, Newton's second law, okay? Um, in the direction of motion. And if we resolve that um, A to start with there. Now, because it's going upwards, T will be pulling it, pulling the weight. So we take away then the weight, and that will equal then mass then, which is three, okay, the three kilograms, times then the acceleration, which of course is 0.4 G, okay? So, you know, even straight away from that, we'll be able to work out that tension. So let's go for it. So T will equal, um, or three times 0.4 is 1.2 G, plus then three G. So T will equal 4.2 G, so T will equal 4.2 times 9.8, and we get out 41.16 Newtons, okay? Um, so that's the tension then in the string, all right? Now if we resolve at um, B then, okay, we can then work out what that mass is. So, you know, it's going down, so the, so the weight is pulling it down, so that's the leading force, and then we take away the resistance of the string, and that will equal then to the mass of, of particle B, which is just M times then the acceleration is going out, which is 0.4 G, okay, if we're just focusing on B there, so using the second law there. So, um, yeah, we know now to tension is 41.16, so we can put that in, and we know G is 9.8, so 9.8 M, okay, take away, yeah, 9.8 for G, and then the M, take away then 41.16 equals then the M times this 0.4 G, Okay, so 0.4 times 9.8 times m. Okay, so we get this. So 0.4 times 9.8, and we get 3.92 m. Okay, so if we take then this 3.92 m over, so minus 3.92, and then 41.16. Five point eight eight m equals forty one point one six, and of course to get m, then all you've got to do is divide by the five point eight eight, and we get our answer. Which is just seven, so seven kilograms. Okay.